Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Mods and Coffee. Today, we are gonna be doing the Velocitech Big Mouth Kit on the Q50. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. Detailed video, let's jump right in. Don't wanna waste your time, let's hit it. Wow. So the first place we're going to begin is by getting out your pop clips on top of the bumper. I'm going to pop all of these out on each side and move the top intake piece and you'll be good to go. And then it should pop out just like this. Next start at the bottom of the bumper. These are all 10 millimeter bolts running along the bottom. Pop all these bad boys out. There's so a pop clip here on the inside of the tire. You may want to turn the tires inward to get easier access to it, because inside there's another 10 millimeter bolt hiding in there. Loosen that bad boy up and maybe get your hands in there to completely get it out. Next, you'll see these other 10 millimeter bolts here and in the corner behind the rubber flap is the main 10 millimeter bolt that we need to get to, and there's one on each side. When you pull those out, you'll see they're labeled. Next, you can go ahead and remove the entire bumper cover. Take your time, try not to break anything. Now, beginning with the Velocitech install, you're gonna see these little clips going along the front. Pinch those all in and create slack on the front like that. Now we're going to go after the horn mount 10 millimeter bolt. Get the supplied hardware. Loosen the back of the horn so we can reposition it. It's going to mount up just like this. Mount up the supplied hardware so it looks like this and it's gonna mount just like that. There was a plastic piece here that I'm missing, so you may have to remove that piece on yours. Coming up, mount it up like this. Just kinda mock, see how it fits in through the back. Now we're ready to mount it up. Not too snug, don't over tighten it. Use the correct bolts and spacers provided and do the other side. Super easy. Next we're gonna focus on putting this cable back in, so pop this side in. And you'll see over here, it doesn't quite line up anymore. And we wanna get rid of the slack so it's not bouncing around. So, unclip the top one. It'll be loose, push this one forward. And put it in the middle hole. And then take that top one that was in the middle and put it here. Perfect. Now everything's nice and snug and not going to be rattling. As you can see, the way this intake kit works is in conjunction with your OEM box and the top OEM piece. Air comes in through here comes up, hits the OEM box inlet, straight into your intake box. It's seamless from the throttle body all the way down, inlet all the way up, just a seamless flow of air. All right, y'all, pretty straightforward install. Just take your time taking off the bumper, putting everything together. It's super easy. 
The Velocitec Big Mouth Kit looks awesome. It complements any kind of intake kit you guys have that utilizes the top of the factory housing. So it's like one true dual intake kit for your Q50. The Velocitec looks pretty dope. I like it. Really complements my Takeda dual intake system. I think this is an awesome addition if that's something you're looking for. Not sure if it'll really have tons of power gains, but I think it looks awesome and really ties in that front end, makes it look a little more aggressive. So if you guys like this video, please comment down below, like it. That way it gets spread into the YouTube universe and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.